Welcome to Road to Untradables, my long-running spawn picker series in which I try to unlock every single untradable item within the game. Welcome to RTU. Price key, holy shit! 1k C drop boys. Hey, here we go. <laughs> nice one guys, very nice. <laughs> What's up everyone, welcome to episode 59 of RTU already, it's your host Metal Raymond as always and I'm not going to beat around the bush because we have a lot to cover in this episode, gonna start off with a few more smite clips that I have, more PKing, then move on to a little tournament that I didn't win of course as always, <coughs> then we continue with Blood Slayer, we finally get up a few ranks, unlock a few new untradables and then at the end we'll go over the Larens keys that I've obtained during this and open all of them for a little bit of loot from so to say. Of course we have a giveaway for this video, we're doing another $25 bond and all you need to do is of course subscribe to the channel, like this video, come to your game name down below and turn on the post notifications so you, can, so you can stay up to date with new video uploads. If you've done all of that I wish you all the best of luck on winning. Um, gonna cover them in the next week, probably on Tuesday or Wednesday, we'll have to see how it goes. Anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode, let's get right into it. Alright, it is currently the hotspot in Nashville and I do have to make use of that. Really want to see if we can get more of those uh, blood caskets. Would be very nice to uh, save up a few of those and see what kind of loot you can get from them. Here we go with the first fight. Let's see if we can get lucky. We have about an hour of hotspot left. One and a half-ish. Again. Whew. 72 though. And that didn't smite. Hmm. Hit me, bitch. Oh, I smited him as well. No, it didn't. Wow. Smited him for a second, but he got it back up. Even with a double good spec. Can always double. Yep. Good fight. HS, woo! Bug. This is it. Boom. And smited. <laughs> Don't smile. Claws, yay. Another one. Let's pick up the Tokar call anyway. Good fight. Let's see what he was risking. Almost nothing. Wow. Cool. He has a death bat though, so no clue what I can potentially smite right here. Let's find out, because we did. Ranger Gloves 3, very nice, he had a Dragon Hunter Lance. That's actually like a near cross EPK, good Which... fight. Or risk it, fuck it. Hey. Daily complete, nice. Trashy casket, good luck. Trash. We have Big PP over here with his death pad, good luck to him. If I could find someone like Z bowing into Elder Molo Karasi. Well, if I kill him that fast, it comes hard to smite, eh? Wow, smited him with just the whip hits. That's how we do it out here. Don't even need the barrel chest, ha! <laughs> huh. Good fight. Wow, that's a loot and a half I didn't expect. Dragon Claws, full DH, Primordial Boots, even a uh, Amulet of Fury Ore. Good loot, dude. Alright guys, I think I am going to pass up on smiting anymore, at least for a little bit. Maybe do it again in the future, however, at the moment I think it's very important that we start focusing on Slayer just a tiny little bit more. And when I say Slayer, of course, I do mean Blood Slayer. And that means I think I will sell a ton of my gear, maybe even my Holy Berserker if I can get a really good offer for that. But definitely don't expect a lot of Smite became for a little bit, but instead we're gonna be grinding that PVMing out on Blood Slayer and trying to get a, a lot of Laren's keys that we can then in turn sell, or I mean open, and make a little loot video from all the keys that we collect. Because it has like a 1 in 10 rate, it's less rare to see one key from PVMing than from PKing. Kind of confusing to me, I think PKing should have higher drop rates than PVMing, but that's just me. Um, so yeah, definitely gonna sell my Eldemol and my Frost Tentacle for now, 
and then maybe I want to do some uh, more blood slay in the future that's PK related, but then without using um, like my smite setup, but instead you know, Stadius Warhammer or something like that. And if I sell everything, I'll have a bit more lenient room to work with when it comes to doing some unique things, going for certain tradables, having more money overall. You know, allows me to do more things. Also, I made a lot of loss on this Elder Maul because it crushed a lot again since I bought it. Oh well, what you gonna do about it? How much is the tentacle right now? Blah, 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 20 billish. Anyway, gonna have to sell everything off and uh, I'm gonna get into some uh, PVMing. Our first task is the Kraken boss. Right, we have a little tournament coming up for a max strength one this time around. Uh, after I sell my PKing shit, it becomes fucking natural hotspot. Typical. But uh, after this, we're gonna focus on our uh, Kraken task. Kinda decided not to go into it because I would lose my Slayer task in time. But, you know, it is what it is. Not much I can do about it now that we're inside. Just gonna have to annihilate my opponents and win 50 build. Fucking pit. Shame. Wow, he went for the double uh, G Mola. That's level 45. Hmm. He's definitely hitting a little better at the moment. Let's just skip to the end and see how it went. And we won by a landslide. store properly and unboosted stats kit fight. Alright, let's see if we can kill 11 Krakens in uh, 12 minutes? Should still be doable. <laughs> Lol, I just got a fucking pet. Wow. Um, 1 in 200, I guess. Okay. I don't know what to think about that. The drops in general are shit anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Just here for the task. Actually, never mind. I just saw and realized I got a Laren's key from that. That's actually pretty dope. So we got our first key drop from uh, this task. Better keep my eye on that to see if we get any more. Of course, someone else shows up. Damn it! I wanted both of them. Second key. Nice. Third key. Key number four. All right, we have four keys so far, and the task is done. Let's get a new one. The next one is barrel chests. Wish I had alien. Right, second task done, but we didn't get any keys from those, unlike the previous task where we got four, so very luck reliant. Right, another Kraken task has been completed, giving us two more keys for a total of six. Crazy Archaeologist task has been completed for two more keys. Well, they weren't task done, but I don't think I got any keys from that. Recover Bob is buying the Holy Zerker, I really just want the cash. And focus on some other things. I'm going to sell the Holy Zerker's pets so we can get like a few Slayer helmet stuff. And really grind out the Slayer grind. The Blood Slayer one. All the way up to rank 30 straight in a row. Anyway, there we go with... Uh, thank you very much with 1.1 trill straight cash. Pet is worth a fucking lot lol. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there we go. Now we can finally buy uh, the fused Slayer helm back. 390 build, not too bad. Not much else I need, is there? Hmm. Kind of funny. <laughs> 69 tasks. Oh no, I'm kind of missing the behemoth elemental spawn. 
But it's kind of quiet. Huh, there's only one person here. Huh, <laughs> didn't expect that. Was a little late on the spawn. Because it had already came out, but there's almost no one here, so it's all good. Just using a blood whip as well. Bought a few 500 mil orbs, just so we can concentrate on these spawns a bit more. We are on a Chaos Elemental task at the moment, and this is the last task for rank number 15, at which we can unlock two more untradeables. Excited to see that, let's skip to the end of the kill. Right, there we go. Uh, we got nothing. Block money and coins, okay, great. Hmm. Not even amounts to brag about. Maybe the superiors could really get a little bit of a buff. Oh, we actually got a 5 bill cash drop from an elemental. First half decent drop we've seen so far. Alright, we completed the Chaos Elemental task at last. Just realized I was still carrying a 500 mil blood art. Oopsie. Anyway, start a Blood Slayer task. No, wait, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's take a look at the rank first. We should now be rank 15 Blood Slayer, which unlocks two new items the Cape and the Blood Slayer Hood. Receive 10% more blood money from tasks while equipped and receive 5% more blood money from tasks while equipped. Wow, these are pretty shit. <laughs> I mean, the helm is decent. I guess I can use this, but not really. <laughs> Why would I use that over a fuse for 10% more blood money? Unless I equip it on the last hit, I guess. Kind of useless in the cave, you know, grand promo cave, fuck that. I'm gonna switch it to a blood slayer cave. Look at that, two strength bonus less, shaking my head off. Way worse. So yeah, fuck that. Alright, so now that we're rank 15 in a Blood Slayer, I want to open some of these Alarence keys. I don't know how smart it is, like what amounts to bring when you do this. Just gonna bring uh, five of them, open that, and see how it goes. You do get magic sickness, so we have to run back to the mage bank, unfortunately for us. But I'm just gonna get some tanky tanky out. Whoops. And then I'll see you guys when I get to the All chest. Right. We're almost here. It's just a little west of the uh, Mage Bank teleport. Let's see what we can get from these keys. First one 300 mil and an AGS. Oh, that's pretty cool. So you can get multiple items. What else? Five boxes and some more bags. Some more point boxes and bags, send few serums. Now we have one more, two bandle stasses, and that's actually it, okay. Hmm, not too impressed overall, but you know, decent. You get these quite often, so not really gonna complain about something that gives such uh, consistent rewards, you know? They are a little extra on top of all the Slayer I done, I just made an extra 1.8 bill, a few point boxes, some sand fuse, etc. And that's the way I should look at it. Hopefully we can uh, end up getting a satchel soon though, that would be nice to see for sure. Oh, Yorick is at it again. Right, five more keys, so let's see what we get this time around. Such a maze. Let's see. Starting off with some bags, etc. I'm just gonna open all of them and then see what's on the floor. Blood money. Damn, definitely none of the rares. Let's start. Oh, we got a uh, goodie bag at the end. Let's start off with the 100 mil cash bags. How many did we get in total? 18. Okay, not too bad. Two tests again. And then we have some blood money and coins. Let's quickly try and pick that up. Okay, fair enough, 150 blood money, not bad, 250 mil cash. We have seven more keys, let's open those as well. All right, our last seven keys, and after this I'm gonna stop opening them all together and save up for like 100-ish keys, I think that's a good amount. Oh, super combat flask, this is really nice, you just get good decaying supplies and stuff like that. A little bit of cash, and then a rare chance to get that uh, sudgel thingy. We haven't seen a single rare though, oh, we got some claws, I guess. Blood money again, 25 bags. I mean, mm, I would have loved to see a rare in all of these, but can't always be lucky, eh? We opened, how many? 22 or something like that? Like, no, way less. Did we? Might have been 22. Anyway, it's a decent amount. We got a pair of claws out of it, I guess. But uh, yeah, hmm. can't wait to uh, get a hundred of them and 
really go ham at it. Open a bunch of them at once, but got a little a little stamina potions, extended ones on top of that. A few super combats, etc. Oh well. Alright then, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I really hope you enjoyed this episode. I think we covered a lot of different ground. The Cramsy Gloves Smite was a nice one, of course. Um, they haven't sold yet, but I got them in for 20 billish, and they are fluctuating a little. I think I have them in for 70.5 actually. Lowered it a little bit, but uh, it will come in due time. It's a nice smite. It's a Nera Grassi. Grassi has been dropping a lot lately as well in price, so all good. But other than that, I didn't have a lot of leftover clips, so just kind of chucked them in there, went to the tourney, etc. And the main focus is that we indeed got two new untradeables, of course, for this video. The, uh, the two new blood items, the cape and the hood. We have quite a nice little set over here, but we are only halfway done with the entire ranking. However, now that we sold the Holy Zerker and we have some really good PVMing gear, I feel like it's not going to be that hard. I don't know why I did Blood Slayer with Wieldy, I guess because it's more entertaining and more fun content if you ask me. But it gets a little stale and it's always the same gears and... Jesus Christ, you get so much more keys when doing PVMing, it's more chill, more laid back, more AFK. So I think I'll just focus on that and get those other 15 ranks out of the way. We got our fused so we can instantly make a uh, Blood Slayer Helm once we get to that point. Can't wait to unlock all of those, I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, don't forget to like the video and enter the giveaway, etc. And I'll see you guys in the, the next episode. Metal Raymond out.